Hey everyone, welcome to a new travel video. Today is Friday the 2nd of February 2018 and Nick and I have a five day weekend this weekend which is pretty cool. So we've taken today and Monday off work and then Tuesday the 6th is Waitangi Day here in New Zealand so we have uh, like another day off as a national holiday so we've decided to make the most of it um, and we're going on a bit of a road trip and have some pretty cool things planned so I'm going to take you guys along right about now we're about to leave to head to the airport to catch a plane up to Auckland Bye Subi, behave! actually Nick's old car if any of you are like super long time viewers you may remember I think there's like one or two vlogs um, of us in this car going for a few road trips and stuff Nick sold it to his uncle when we went to London and then his uncle was using it as like a company car and then the guy that was using it has left the company so his uncle was selling it and Nick has bought it back um, so that's why we flew up to Auckland and not directly to Tauranga um, so we could pick up this car are you happy to have it back Nick? He's happy. Um, one thing car related as well that I didn't tell you guys is that I got my restricted. Whoop, whoop. So in New Zealand you have like three stages of driver's license. You have your learners which is the thing that I've been on for like nine years um, and then you have your restricted where you can drive by yourself but it's pretty much the same rules as uh, a learner and then you have your full. So now I'm like halfway there to getting my full but that was one of the things that I really wanted to do this year and that was on my um, like goals and resolutions list so that's one thing I can already tick off. Right now the journey to Tarong is going pretty slowly we're sitting in quite a lot of traffic if you can see that. I think the journey is normally what like two hours to Tauranga um, but right now it's saying that it's going to take us three hours and 11 minutes um, and we've already been going for about half an hour so I'm expecting it to be a bit of a long journey. So we're about an hour away from Tauranga and we have just made a quick pit stop in Pairoa to come and take a cheesy tourist photo in front of this bottle. For any of you who have ever seen LNP drink which is world famous in New Zealand, um, LNP stands for lemon and Pairoa. Pairoa is actually a place so it's a bit of a weird name drink um, but yeah this is like the famous LNP monument only in New Zealand. So we made it to mum and dad's house uh, about an hour and a half ago, it's now 10 o'clock at night. I am very sleepy because I woke up at my normal time today and it's been a pretty big day of travelling. I feel like we've travelled for like a good 8 hours. Tomorrow we also have an early start where I think we have like a 6am leave time um, because all four of us are off to a car festival called Leadfoot which apparently is quite similar to Goodwood which Nick and I went to um, whilst we are living in London in the UK. So I'm excited to go to that, it will just be a very early start. Um, we've got a few other things that we're going to do whilst we're in the Coromandel as well and make it a bit more of a um, holiday and a road trip and things like that. So I shall see you, potentially not straight away in the morning because I have a feeling I'll be very tired, but I'll see you sometime tomorrow for part two of our holiday. Saturday afternoon. I haven't really spoken to you guys all day today because we have been busy at Leadfoot which was really fun. Now we're at our accommodation in Hahe which is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Now the time is almost 5.30 and we are going to change and go to Hotwater Beach which as the name would suggest is a beach where the water is hot um, and you like bring a shovel and you dig out your own little spa pool. So we're gonna go and be there for a bit. It is quite windy so I don't know how long we'll stay. And I think we're gonna meet up with some of my parents friends then probably have an early night and go back to Lidfoot tomorrow. If you want to Sunday today 
today and we are just getting ready to go to Leadfoot day two. It did rain overnight and today is definitely a lot cooler so I think we will be bringing jackets today as well. But I just want to show you again this beautiful view from my Airbnb. I felt very relaxed last night when I fell asleep at about 9.30. I definitely needed an early night after a really hectic and busy day of traveling uh, the last two days and then also a lot going on at Leadfoot yesterday. Um, so after Leadfoot today we'll be heading back to Tauranga. I also don't know how much I'll film today because I feel like I filmed a lot of stuff yesterday and if you're not really into cars you might not enjoy that very much. Uh, so I'll see what I film but here goes Sunday. <laughs> So we are back in Tarong now, it's very sunny, which I'm definitely not complaining about, it's about 7.15 in the morning, this is the beautiful view that I'm looking at, um, but unfortunately Nick and I are actually about to leave to head back to Wellington, so we're not going to be able to enjoy this view uh, as much as I would have liked this time, um, but yes, we're driving back to Wellington today, we have a few errands and stuff that we need to do when we get home as well, and then tomorrow, because it's Waitangi Day, we also have tomorrow off, um, and I think we'll just be doing stuff around the house and getting ready for another week because this is like the last of our holidays uh, until like mid-year. We're about an hour and a half away from home. The time is almost two o'clock and we left uh, Tauranga at 8 a.m. this morning and the road is at like a complete standstill as you can, I can't really show you that, um, but we've been looking at like the updates to wonder like why this is happening and it looks like this morning before eight o'clock a uh, truck tipped over and the road has been like on and off like open and close as they try and remove the truck um, and I think the last update was at like 11 o'clock saying that at 12 o'clock the road would be closed for up to three hours while they try and like get a crane in to remove the car or the truck so hopefully we don't have to wait here for another hour oh we're moving okay second update we got about five meters down the road and now we're stopped again We are now back home. Subi, I think, is very happy to have the company. She stayed here while we were away, and one of my workmates, who just lives up the road, had very kindly come up to feed her. Now my plan is going to be to unpack all of the stuff. We also just called in and did a little bit of shopping as well, but I might show you that in another vlog. Um, unpack all of this, sort out what is washing and what is not, and then cook some dinner. It's uh, 10 past 6 now. I think we're going to have um, some like fajitas for dinner because we have some stuff for that and then I saw on Twitter today that there's a new Cloverfield movie out um, so if that is on Netflix by the time we are needing to eat dinner then we might watch that um, but I'm gonna end this video here because now we are home from our travels thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and if you two have had a long weekend then I hope you enjoyed it if not I hope you enjoyed your week and weekend anyway uh, and I shall see you all in the next video bye